one. I hope you're all having an amazing day. What is today? Is it Monday still? I think it's Monday. Probably Monday. Probably still awesome. What's up? It is me, Erica. Jeff is cooking dinner because he's amazing. And we are artists till death. We go live every day. Usually at 6 p.m. Today I'm a little bit early because I'm trying to be done around dinner time because I've been ordering paints, doing inventory all day, and I'm starving. Anyways, today I'm going to do a... I haven't done a geode on the channel in a while, so today we're going to do an emerald... No, nope, Opposite of emerald. Ruby geode. I should probably turn this sideways and zoom you guys in some. Let's do that. Boop. How's the weather where y'all are? Here it is. At least it's not raining. Actually, it may be raining. No, it's not raining. At least it's not raining. What's up, what's up? Susan, Sue, Christy, Judy, Shelly, Von, Paige. Carrie, how you doing? Nancy. Yeah, it's pretty chilly here, but it's not like the coldest it's been. So, today we're gonna pour on one of our geode freeform shapes. I painted this one white, but you can use it as a trigger, you can hang it, whatever you wanna do with it. Uh, it's up to you, cold, cold, cold and gloomy. You saw the sun today, but it was cold. At least you got to see the sun and wave at it or something. We got to see it yesterday. We got to see it for a second yesterday. I drew the Cowboys one, no big deal. Wet and chilly in Melbourne. I figured it'd be it like, like yeah, isn't it like summertime? summer in Australia right now? I don't know things. So I went ahead and mixed up my resin because uh, I was a little bit prepared, question mark. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix my colors and I will let you know what colors I'm using as I mix up them. Nope. Yep. Alrighty. So the first color we're going to use is called Cherry. I just got some of this in. You guys are the first to know that I got a shipment in from Color Obsession and already on the website and I just put another order in with everyone but this safety seal is being a little bit of a turd so I always have an exacto blade on hand just in case I need help getting a seal off boop Got it. Be careful if you use X-Acto blades. Uh, they will cut you. I've been cut. I don't even know how many times by an X-Acto blade. You cut yourself with an X-Acto blade and just sat in the back of the class? Jeff still has a scar on his hand where he cut himself. It's supposed to be summer, but they're still waiting to see the sun, they say. So if you haven't used cherry before, it's a beautiful color. It is translucent, so it's not quite transparent. It's a little bit in between opaque and translucent. It's a beautiful color, and you're going to get to see a lot of it in just a moment. Um, I always overload my colors. You do not have to use the amount of colorant that I use. 
Just know that I always overload my colors. We call it freaking Judy out. Judy does always like, <laughs> when I add pigment to my colors. I think it's maybe just because I'm by myself. Like if I ever went live by myself, she's like, um, since Erica's not there, I'm going to go ahead and I'll stop and Erica goes, yep, too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeff always gets in trouble. So this color is what Ruby looks like. As you can see, you can see straight through it. I hope you can see that you can see straight through it. As you can see. But it's a bit uh, bright for me. So I'm gonna drop in a something. What is this? I have an iris color that I'm just gonna add to it. It's not iris. Yeah, it's about, it's like an iris color. You could use any dark purple paste. I wouldn't mix in a um, an acrylic into this, but another paste or a dye is fine, as long as it's not water-based. This made it like a... Um, May have been the wrong purple to add, but we're still gonna roll with it. What's up, Emma? What's he making for dinner? I'm not sure. B, what are you cooking in there? Sort of chicken dish. Uh, apparently something with chicken. That's all the information that I got. What's up, Dancing with Aardvarks? How are things? Haven't seen you in a bit. I did a little bit more cherry to brighten the color up a little bit. It is kind of a plummy color, which I can roll with. Actually, it's almost like a brown color. Mm, I think I may not use this. It looks good when it's thinning out, but when it's like the opaque version, it's a little bit chocolatey. Scrapping this. I made plenty of spare resin though, because I am currently working on filling up a something. A um, a shadow box with memorial flowers. So I was just going to add the leftover to there, but that's fine. We're good. So I'm going to start with pomegranate and then add some cherry because this is going to be a little bit purpley and we're going to make it a little bit more red. Red beans and rice, that sounds delicious. Pomegranate's a little bit of a a purpley red color, which may have been the color I was shooting for in the first place. I have pomegranate on order. I am out of it at the moment, but I have some on order. But just so you guys know what pomegranate looks like, isn't that a gorgeous color? I have some on order. Don't freak out. I expect it by Monday at the latest. Snowed three feet in Alaska overnight. Wow. So because this has a little bit of um, a purpley hue to it, this cherry may not cover that, but I'm going to add some anyways and see if it turn, turns it into a more of a red pomegranate instead of this beautiful purpley pomegranate. Yeah, I made it just a little bit more red. It's gonna be beautiful. I love it already. So, next color I'm gonna mix up is some bright gold from Just Resin. 
Apparently this is an old one because it's a little bit thicker than it should be, but that's fine. It'll still work amazing. If you guys don't tell Jeff, I'll tell you guys. I wish it would snow here more often, but um, don't tell him because he doesn't like driving in snow. So this is bright gold from Just Resin. It's a beautiful gold. I think I'm going to add some rich gold shimmer as well. I just got a bunch of it in. It's one of my all-time favesy gold. And I don't have a lot of that left either, but it's fine. We're just going to do multiple levels of gold with I should have just poured it straight in here. In fact, I'm going to do that. No, I'm not. I do that when I get just the last little bit of a color out of a jar. But I think I have one more use in here. Anytime you use multiple tones of a color, it gives your piece depth. So just one gold would be a great two golds, a little bit more depthy, if you will. You drove all the way from Georgia to home in Mississippi to make this live. What? Thank you, find it, fix it, flip it, work it. I'm so glad you're here. I hope your drive was awesome. We'll be driving from here to Alabama soonish I'm going to use some Milky Way or Shooting Star for some of a clear layer which also adds depth and dimension it looks kind of chunky when you first pour it out but it melts in very beautifully I'm going to be able to see that through, but that's fine. Um, my parents or my mom lives in Alabama, and so we're going home for Christmas. My sister will also be there with my tea tiny bitty baby niece. My little tea tiny Alexi niece will be there. Can't wait to see her. Little nugget is so cute. My sister doesn't even know that she's basically um, going to love me more than anybody else. So I haven't told my mom or my sister that, but they'll figure it out. They'll see. What's up, Melissa? How are you doing? You saw your grandbaby girl? Well, congrats on your grandbaby girl. I'm sure it was Awesome to see. I am missing a this. It's fine. Uh, you are correct, Sue. We are great. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to put some of my one inch fire glass in here if i can aha exacto blade i'm gonna see if i can get it open but i can't you can find everything i'm using today on our website artistilldeath.com okay it always looks just like ice to me oh we're gonna need a couple more cubes, as it were. Okay. And since this is going to be a gold and ruby geode, I'm just going to pre-sprinkle some of my gold glitter glass on here 
but I'm going to put more after I put some uh, resin in the center so that the flakes will stick to the something, the fire glass. And I hope that this will come off. Red is notorious for staining. Do you ever come to Wisconsin area with any type of art gatherings? Von Page, I am down to come anywhere and art. Um, we could do Wisconsin, but it'll have to be when the weather's a little bit warmer because my husband will instantly freeze. If he, unless he can snowboard, he'll instantly freeze in any temperature under 60. Susan, did you send that to a 214 number or a 903 number? Okay, so I'm going to take my Milky Way, and I'm going to put it around the center. And it's okay if some falls in, because ultimately a lot's going to end up falling into the center. I'm going to try to kind of follow the shape of the board so if it kind of comes down a little bit on one side then I'm gonna bring the colors out in that side I hope that makes sense because on the inside it made sense and then I said it and it didn't really make sense so I'm not trying to follow the shape of the outside but I'm kind of trying to stretch the resin in those areas because once you get all your rings out if you have them all in the same thickness all the way around, then you're going to end up running out of space to pour your resin on. So just try to make it a little bit similar. And don't worry about any low points. Your resin is going to self-level and fill in anyways. So the next one I'm going to do is a 214 number. Was it the red phone's phone number? Because we used to say that that number goes to the red phone. So this next gold, hey Clara, how are you feeling? Is the rich gold shimmer. Whenever I lay my colors out, I never do the same thickness of lines because that's not natural. Geodes are all kinds of shapes and thickness when it comes to all the lines. I would just cut the top of it off. Okay, well then, just cut a new one. Shelly, if you could send me the picture to the through the website, like when you go on the website, it has like a chat box. I'll see it much quicker there. Thank you for all the links, Clara. You guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. So the next one we're going to do, I think the pomegranate cherry blend. Doesn't blend sound so fancy? Not a mixture, it's a blend. I'm drinking a red wine blend tonight. Maybe that's why I feel like saying the word blend. I don't know. Francisco. In any case, love the color. Ooh, especially when it's thinned out like that and you could see, see it over the white. I'm not sure. I may swipe this one, but who knows? What do you guys think? You did, my sweet. Mm-hmm. 
Are there any molds for business card holders? I would be shocked if there weren't. Um, I'm sure there are some on Amazon. I can check uh, after the live and then put it in our Amazon link if you wish. All of my geodes end up having white or black. Actually, any art piece that I do will have white or black. I feel like it just adds depth or a brightness to a piece. And I could be really wrong in that, but um, maybe not. And I just love the way it looks. Oops. And then that pink is spreading. May have to swipe this one since that pink just went rogue. Another reason why I run my finger through the colors is to thin it out. Because we have resin in the center first, every time I add resin, it's gonna push into where the resin already is. It's not gonna push out towards this dry area. It's gonna all push inside because that's where the resin's already been. That's where it wants to go to. So keep that in mind. I love this red, but it is getting everywhere. Dead gum it. Is there a red mica that won't turn pink when painted on a mold and where and white resin is poured over it? Cerulean, I don't know of a red mica that isn't pink at all. I don't know if you could try one of the resin arts. Just like take a muddler and like ground them down into a finer powder. That may work. I would give that a shot. But to my knowledge in general, I don't know of a gold. Nope. Sorry, I'm pouring gold, so I thought gold. This is the Just Resin Bright Gold. I don't know of a pure red mica that doesn't read as pink in some, in some way. Also, I don't know if you can hear Bowie, but he says hi. He is apparently on a whole nother level. Yeah, I think we're gonna end up swiping this one, but I am okay with that because when you swipe a geode, it kind of blends your lines a little bit. I guess I'm just going to make this whole outside area gold. He is party of one right now in there. I know. Uh, he is telling me all about uh, his day, I guess. What's up, Libby? You're not that late. He ran like one of the cats was chasing him, but no one was behind him. Every time I use this pomegranate, I'm like, why don't I use this more often? Jeff is making his famous guacamole sauce. I just got resin on my resin tumbler. Womp. Okay, so I'm gonna take my leftover this, which is a Milky Way mix that we did, and pour it on my glitter glass. This is a one inch because I wanted it to stand up kind of high. Now it's time, now it's time to do the swipe. I'm gonna put some of this red down here because I put it up here without thinking about continuity. 
I'm just gonna, just gonna do a little bit of that. Okay. Clear some space for our super swipe. Why do I get so nervous when I do this? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, go. We gotta heat it up first. Make sure we don't have anything that's gonna interrupt the flow. And while I'm doing this, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. We're also on TikTok where we do all of this plus a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, sometimes our TikTok is more like day in the life or like a backstage. All right, got our big swipey paper. Why do I get so nervous? Okay. So, as I'm dragging my swiping paper, I'm gonna end up picking up more and more resin because the geode's gonna get bigger. So I have to mind my outside edge. And I always like to add some like scalloped looks so it's not just straight lines. You can obviously swipe however you uh, want to. Just make sure you take your time and keep your swiping paper as flat as possible so that you don't scrape off your everything. Nope, your resin. Y'all, words and me today are apparently not hanging out really well. All right. All right. All right. So I want to add back in a line of this pomegranate. Why is it going all the way in here? You're messing up my flow. I just have to make sure that we cover that up with gold glass. All right, so I'm just going to add this dark red back into where it already was. Cool, love it, cool. Thanks, you guys. I'm glad you like the look. I'm a fan. I think I want to add um, the white back in as well, just up here a bit. He's in the shop playing with that hanging toy. Mm hmm. I'm just following the scallops that I put in. Let's see here. I feel like I want to have another line of white up here. Keep in mind that at this point, every bit of color that we add is going to push the resin around in some form or fashion. Wait till you guys see up close what these cells look like. I can't wait to show you. The rich gold shimmer that I use does some crazy awesome things when it's swiped over. Okay. Okay. 
You can zoom in on your phone now. That's crazy awesome. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay. So now I went ahead and put some of the Milky Way mix right here. I'm going to take my gold glitter glass and not quite fill her up, but kind of fill her up. I'm at least going to cover... Ooh, I like how it looks when it's a little bit out in the, like, on this rim here. So I'm going to just keep on with that. Happy accidents. I want to say party on the rim, but I feel like that's, it's too early in the night to have. Anyways. I'm going to pinch it. I feel like I have more control this way. So if you like this geode shape cradle board, you can get it on our website along with all the colors I used today. Loving it. Okay, I'm going to bring you guys down and show you what um, this bad boy looks like up close. I see you, Vamp. Okay. So look at these just subtle cells just from the rich gold shimmer. Rich Gold Shimmer sells on top of the resin like this, so the gold is selling, as well as um, with things on top of it. So this pomegranate is on top over here. You can see a whole bunch of cells there as well. And over here. I don't even mean to get cells in this one, but I mean, resin's gonna resin. Look, these are like just on their own. These ones right here. I love it. And so this is the gold glitter glass. I wish you guys could see how like sparkly it is IRL, but what are you going to do? So if you guys haven't ordered anything from our shop lately, just know that you can get a scratch off card with each purchase. Also, Look at my dime bracelet Jen sent me. Isn't it beautiful? Boop. Um, so, yeah. Uh, don't forget to order from our shop. For every $100 that you order, you get a scratch-off card. And Stone Coat was nice enough to donate three one-gallon kits, a whole bunch of micas. I have resin on there. There's so many prizes, 30% off coupons, so much more. So uh, if you order something, it's going to be great. You're going to get a scratch-off card. Every card's a winner. You'll at least get a percent off. Um, on it. I just went on the outside. I was supposed to be on the inside, but that's fine. Nothing in nature is perfect. It's fine. It's fine. So I'm digging it. Let me know in the comments below what color you think I should do next time. I'm excited to know. And so, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow for our 2 o'clock Tuesday live feeds. If you haven't been to one, 
They're a whole bunch of fun. And they're at 2 o'clock Central on Tuesdays. Anyways, you guys have an awesome evening. I'm about to go see how Jeff's guacamole is coming along. And if you guys give this a shot, post it in our Facebook group, ATD's Poor People, so I can see what it looks like. Because I love to see y'all's work. So, yeah. Oh, whatever, Susan. Our stuff is hardly perfect. You just have to talk about it like it is perfect. Own it. Yeah? Yeah. Anyways, you guys have an awesome night. I got to take my little Bobo out. And so, yeah. I hope you guys have an awesome evening. And join us tomorrow. Be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test. So, so, don't have to. Uh, so I don't have to. Anyways, you guys, we'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye. Goodbye. I said bye.